when you start meditating, it's good to start with thoughts of goodwill. Goodwill is a wish for happiness. And here we're making it a wish for true happiness. This is why we're meditating, because we realize that true happiness has to come from within. You look at the world, and what does the world have to offer? There's material gain, but then there's loss. There's status, there's loss of status. There's praise and criticism, pleasure and pain. And these things come back and forth. Nothing really reliable. If you're going to look for happiness, you have to find something inside that you can depend on. But there's also the thought that if you look inside for your happiness, you're not taking anything away from anyone else, which means that your true happiness doesn't have to conflict with anyone else's true happiness. And so you can make this thought of goodwill universal, with no boundaries at all. It's good to think of a limitless state of mind at least once a day. There's a character in Through the Looking Glass who said that every morning before breakfast he liked to think of three impossible things just to air out his mind. And it's good for us every day to think about infinity at least once a day, all living beings everywhere, with no ill will at all. You don't want to see anybody suffer. That's the thought you want to have. Of course, the world may not necessarily change to be in line with that thought, but it should be the thought that informs your own practice. With that thought, it's easier to be generous, it's easier to be virtuous, act in harmless ways. And it's a lot easier to meditate, because if you look at your behavior and you see that you haven't harmed anybody, the mind can settle down with a sense of well-being, a sense of joy. Because as the mind settles down, it becomes more gentle, more tender, more sensitive. And the things that you're able to justify to yourself maybe in the course of the day, when you stop and think about them, you realize, okay, that was, that was not really wise to do, not a good thing to do. And it hurts. When it hurts like that, either you feel like you've got a scar in your mind, you've got a wound, or else you have scar tissue, you go into denial. And neither of those is good. For the sake of the meditation, you want to have no scars, no wounds. So the mind can settle down with a sense of well-being, a sense of belonging here, ready to do the work. So every day as you meditate, when you start meditating first thing in the morning, thoughts of goodwill. They say that a John Munn would spread thoughts of goodwill in all directions three times a day. In the morning, when he woke up, in the afternoon when he woke up from his nap, and then in the evening before he went to bed. That's good to have limitless goodwill like this form the framework for your practice. Because then you're moving in a world which is really spacious, really good, the world of your own mind. And even though we can't straighten out the world outside, we can straighten out the world inside. And this is a good first step.